Leos, welcome back. Happy to be here with you guys today. We're going to jump into June's reading. And I'm, I'm hoping that you guys get a good reading because the last couple of readings, you guys have kind of, to me, it's kind of like you guys have been going through, been going through it. So I'm hoping a good reading on my Leos. Go ahead and like, hit the like button on your way in. Like, 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 like. If you're new, subscribe. Go ahead and click the bell. All right, so we're going to shuffle up a couple times and then we're going to jump right into it. So let's do it. So give me an overall energy for my Leos for the month of June. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. So I got the Star card and the Nine of Swords. So some of you, um, don't want to get caught in a lie. Or don't want to lie, don't want to steal, don't want to do something to that nature. Okay, your intuition is telling you possibly not to lie. Or your intuition may be telling you to, you know, <laughs> to lie, but you don't want to. And I feel like we got the nine of swords here. This is kind of on your mind a bit. Like it's kind of, in, it's, in your, it's on your mind. But I feel like I'm getting, oh gosh, okay. With the uh, Nine of Pentacles and the Star card, this is star quality, okay? So you guys are like on your A game with the Nine of Pentacles and the Star. That's very much so star quality, like very much so, okay? Interesting, 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 interesting. All right. Please give me a message for my Leos. We got the death card. We got the eight of pentacles. <laughs> We got you guys' energy, Queen of Wands. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. All right. We got the Knight of Swords. We got the Three of Swords. And we got the Emperor. So you're you're feeling Emperor energy, okay? Okay, so we got the Seven of Swords and the outcome. Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Something else wanted to jump out, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll uh, clarify. I feel like... Let me pull some more cards just to see. trying to make somebody regret saying something or doing something. Um, 
Why is the death card here? Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. The Scorpio. Why is the death card here? Okay, three of cups. Why is the three of cups here? The Hierophant. I'm getting that there's a group here. Or you don't get along with somebody. Not trying to get along. I'm getting like you're not trying to get along with somebody. The Eight of Pentacles and the Death card is definitely someone not putting forth the effort. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, this could be like a Capricorn or someone's young, someone's youngest. Someone's energy is very childlike and young. Okay, yeah, I mean, like, you're not trying to, uh, join alliances or be a part of a group. Okay, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? I'm getting like not the same. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Uh huh. Something about not cooperating or something is not going to work. Okay, so you're not trying to come together with somebody on something. If they not family, we got the two of swords and the ten of pentacles. So that makes me feel like you don't want to be a part of a group or vice versa. Maybe because they aren't family with the two of swords and the ten of pentacles. You feel like something isn't going to work or people aren't going to cooperate. And I feel like there's conflict. Okay, why is the five of wands here? King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So I'm getting like there's a few people involved. Could be a Taurus and Capricorn, Virgo, or Tor or Taurus. I said Taurus, sorry. I'm getting like don't you don't want to come together if if they're if they aren't family. Feel like something isn't going to work. I feel like there's conflict here. Possibly conflict over money. Why is the Knight of Swords here? You guys have been getting a lot of attention. With the Six of Wands here, you guys are, the spotlight is on you, okay? The spotlight is on you. We got the Strength card and the Four of Wands. Yeah, like, there's a celebration talking about coming together. There's some type of celebration here. Um, and the spotlight is most definitely on you. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's an event that you planned. We got the Two of Wands. There's something that you plan or put together, but you don't, I'm getting like, you don't want to come together if they, if people aren't going to pitch in, if they aren't going to, um, put it in a helping hand, if they aren't, um, close family or close friends, like just anybody can't really hop on a train is what I'm getting. Why are the three of swords here? You're waiting. I feel like we have the Three of Swords. There could be three people here involved, or there is like, um, what's the Three of Swords here? This is heartbreak or sorrow, or breakup or split. Wait. 
waiting for something to be over. Hoping something, I feel like you guys are, are feeling some type of sorrow or pain. And you're waiting for something to be over. Because I got the Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Okay, So you're definitely waiting for something to be over. But I feel like some of you guys are mourning something or you're sad over something. Why is the Emperor here? The Chariot card and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm getting, there could be a Cancer involved or an Aries, but I'm getting you're communicating with someone that's in a high level with the Emperor. This is definitely someone that is like in a high level, um, like a supervisor or a judge or some something that's of a high level. But I also feel like you're waiting for some type of, I just feel like there's a conversation here. Why is the chariot fire? Two of Pentacles. There could be two people here that you are you're having a conversation with like there's a conversation that you're you're having with possibly two people and there's some type of plan that's being put into effect but everybody's not invited if they don't have any money if they're not put, pitching in or if they're not close family why is the four of swords here uh, people view you like that. I feel like people are getting. I feel like you got you got some haters, okay? Because people around you and people how people view you, I feel like they're tired of looking at you succeed. With the four of swords, definitely that's somebody like uh, you know kind of tired. <laughs> Judgment. Yeah. You. They feel like you keep bringing something up, or you're constantly talking about something. Why judge me here? Mm -hmm. Something about coming together here. The Four of Wands and the Two of Cups. This is a union. This is uniting. Something about coming together. A group of people. I feel like it's a group of people coming together. Where's the magician here? Something about making changes. So they feel like they're tired of you making changes. That's what I get. They are tired of you. They're tired of you making changes. <laughs> Why is the seven of swords here? You may feel that um, some. You may feel like fear um, being lied to, or feeling like someone is like not telling you the truth. But with this Ace of Pentacles here, why is Ace of Pentacles reversed here? There could be like a disagreement over money. Okay, something about working on something changes. There's some changes being made, definitely. I feel like some changes are being made, okay? But I feel like there's a, a argument over possibly money, okay? I feel like you're trying to bring some type of change here and you're trying to get over something, move on from something and start fresh and start something new. For some of you, I'm getting like there's some something new. Like something is done over and done with. The Ace of Pentacles is in reverse, so this could be a missed opportunity. Maybe there's a disagreement about a missed opportunity. Maybe you had to change something around. Maybe your schedule didn't work around it. So I feel like you're having to move on from something and start something fresh, start something new. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? 
King of Swords, Queen of Cups. I mean, there's lots of people here. That's why it makes me feel like um, there's a community or a group thing here. I feel like two people are going to come together, okay? And two people are going to come up with ideas with the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. I feel like there's some ideas being bounced off of each other between two or more people. And you're waiting for things to balance out. You're waiting to see how this is going to go, okay? Maybe you want to take a different approach on something. I see that as well, too. So let's see what the angels have to say. All right, I got helpful people. I got take action. See, I'm getting like you got you getting ready to take action on something. And there's a group of people. I feel like you got a group of people oh, that's got that's having your back. And then it's up to you. So within the next few weeks, it looks like there's a decision that you're going to have to make. Okay, you're going to have to make the decision. So let's see why it's, take, why it's helpful people here. Three of Swords. I'm getting like there's a lot of... Uh, something is burning, like... You're burdened about something. Why is the three of swords here? Yeah, apology. Somebody's apologizing here. And somebody's asking for help as well, too. So maybe you, yeah. Mm hmm. Somebody's looking for, uh, looking for some type of help. Maybe you reached out and asked someone for support, emotional support with the Three of Swords and the Hermit. I definitely feel like that's like emotional support. Um, temporarily with the Knight of Wands here. Which is you guys' energy. You may be kind of like all over the place and you've been asking, asking for assistance. All right, so take action. Page of Cups, yeah, you've been taking action, okay? You've been putting out the call, you've been, yeah, the chariot, yeah, you're ready, you're ready to go, you won't go, you won't go, you won't go. Yep, Six of Swords, Chariot, you won't go, okay? You might have missed the opportunity before, but you ain't gonna miss this next one. All right, it's up to you. It's up to you on whether or not you want to wait on something. Okay. Five of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. I do feel like um, somebody could possibly feel left out. But the decision is pretty up, it's going to be up to you. Because I feel like, yeah, it's up to you. Like, I feel like you're the one that everyone is looking to take action. Okay. Because I feel like there's some type of plan, something that you've been planning and it's, it's causing you, make you feel like you have to make some type of changes. I'm getting like there's some type of changes that are being made. Possibly to some type of document with the Three of Pentacles. It could be something involving work, something that you're working towards, something that you're building. You're building on, but I feel like there's some changes that are being made, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Leos, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'll chat with y'all later.